There's no shortage of things in nature that will leave you in awe. Eroded canyons, dazzling waterfalls, and powerful rivers. Here are 15 epic natural wonders. Number 15, Cano Cristales River, Colombia. The Cano Cristales River in central Colombia is 100 kilometers long and was once inaccessible due to years of violent conflict in the area. But luckily today this region is controlled by the Colombian military, who have opened it up for locals and tourists alike. But what makes this river so special other than its turbulent history? Well, during certain months of the year, the Macarena Claveguera plants that line the bottom of the river will bloom. Anyone visiting the river during this time is treated to the gorgeous, vibrant shades of red, blue, orange, green, and yellow. The Cano Cristales River is the only place on Earth where this type of bloom occurs, making it a one-of-a-kind destination. And while there are plenty of guided boat tours on the river, it is possible for the more adventurous traveler to visit on their own. Number 14. Antelope Canyon The Antelope Canyon in Arizona has been around since the dawn of time, but millions of years of erosion have made it what it is today. Perhaps one of the most Instagram-worthy places in the world, it's truly a sight to behold. The Sandstone Canyon sits 120 feet above the seabed with hues of red and yellow throughout the narrow and winding passage. When you come here, it's easy to feel like you're on another planet, especially when the sunlight beams through. The canyon was given its name because of the pronghorn antelope that once roamed the area, and the Navajo people native to the area named it the place where water runs through rocks. Luckily, this natural wonder of the world is owned and protected by members of the Navajo Nation who ensure that Antelope Canyon will endure the test of time. Number 13. Island of Socotra The island of Socotra is part of an archipelago of Yemen in the Indian Ocean. It is so isolated that a third of the island's plant life doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet, but the biggest draw of Socotra is the Adenium socotronum, better known as dragon's blood trees. They look more like giant mushrooms or flying saucers than they do trees, and as the name suggests, they're native to the island. The pink flowers blossom from the dragon's blood trees, and indigenous birds can be found perched on top of them, soaking up the sun. It's also not uncommon to find bats hanging from the trees during the day as they rest up before taking flight at night. The island was also isolated for millions of years, which allowed it to create its own interesting and unique ecosystem unlike anywhere else on Earth. And to add to the mysticism of the island, in 2010 Russian archaeologists dug up the ruins of a 2nd century civilization, which many believe to be the Garden of Eden, meaning one of the gorgeous trees on the island could be the fabled Tree of Knowledge. Number 12. Badab Isurt What looks like the steps leading to an ancient palace is Badab Isurt, the natural tiered rock bed in Iran. Each tier holds puddles of water, which reflect these gorgeous colors of the Middle Eastern sunrises and sunsets. But Badabi Surat is as old as time, dating back thousands of years. This natural wonder was created by the erosion from two different mineral hot springs that sent water down the mountain from more than 6,000 feet above sea level. As the water cooled down, the minerals would be left behind and give the water a more jelly-like appearance. This mineral-rich water hardened, creating the staircase-like structure that we see today. The name Badabi Surat is Farsi and roughly translates to gassed water and intensity in English. Also, both hot springs still exist, and their waters are said to hold healing properties. Number 11. Tianxi Mountains The Tianxi Mountains in China offer a type of majestic beauty that can only be described as otherworldly. And that's fitting, because the mountain range served as an inspiration for the alien setting in James Cameron's hit movie Avatar. Some of the peaks reach heights of up to 4,100 feet and are so tall that they sit high amongst the clouds. The entire landscape is 21 square miles, inside the Wulingyang Scenic Area of the Zhangjiajie National Forest Park in the Hunan Province. Truly one of the most unique natural wonders on Earth, the ledges of the mountains capture soil which allows trees and foliage to grow on the mountain peaks. And to make things even more epic, the Tianzi Mountains are 300 million years old. The mountain range is incredibly popular with tourists and is best visited after a heavy rain when a thick mist forms around the peaks, making you feel like you're on the planet of Pandora. Number 10. Fly Geyser Another natural wonder of Earth that looks more like it exists on another planet, the Fly Geyser sits on the edge of the Black Rock Desert in Nevada. 
Located in the geothermic flats, known for its pools, fly guys are formed after a geothermal energy company failed to reseal a test well, the geothermal heat forcing the water upwards into a geyser. For the past 40 years, the water has brought minerals to the desert, creating the geyser's distinct mound. The fly geyser is actually one of three spurting mounds in the area. The mound itself has grown over the years as minerals from the water are deposited onto the desert surface and from algae growth. There are plenty of cone-shaped openings, some of which are six feet tall and spurt water up to five feet in the air. To make things even cooler, the fly geyser grows about six inches in size a year. The majestic and colorful fly geyser makes it look like planet Earth is a living, breathing creature. Number 9. Thor's Well With a name like Thor's Well, you can be sure this natural wonder is going to be epic. This seemingly bottomless sinkhole in Oregon looks like it's been draining the sea for thousands of years, and falling in will take you straight to the Earth's core. No one knows for sure how Thor's well was made, but many scientists agree that it was once a cave created by the pounding waves against the rock whose roof eventually collapsed, creating this giant sinkhole. There's also an opening at the very bottom, which allows for some amazing ocean sprays out of the top opening. Thor's well is most photogenic during high tides, but the torrents make getting too close all the more dangerous. The sinkhole isn't actually bottomless and most likely goes down for about 20 feet. Despite the level of tourism it attracts, Thor's well is best viewed from a distance, a very long distance. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 7. Waitomo Glowworm Caves Found in New Zealand, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves feel more like a dream than they do a natural wonder. Waitomo roughly translates from the Maori language as water hole or water entrance, and although these caves have been open to the public since 1889, the indigenous Maori have known about it for much longer. But the big draw is the thousands of glowworms residing in the cave walls, making for what is easily one of the most picturesque sights in the world. When inside, it's easy to forget that you're in a dark cave instead of looking at the night sky above. And to add to the dreamlike experience, the only way to access and explore the caves is via a gondola tour. So you can quietly drift along the water and soak in the once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 6. Lake Hillier Lake Hillier in Australia is a lake like no other. Instead of stepping into a warm, crystal-clear water, the lake water is a shade of pink and as bright as bubblegum. And the further away from the lake you move, the stronger the hue becomes. It's a strange and one-of-a-kind phenomenon that has baffled scientists for years and have yet to come up with a proven hypothesis. But many of them do believe that there is a very specific type of algae that flourishes in lakes with high salinity, as Lake Hillier has. There's also a high concentration of bacteria, known as halobacteria. They're also likely giving off this vibrant pink color. Because Lake Hillier sits on Middle Island, on the Recherche Archipelago, and is only accessible via helicopter. But even if you did manage to get there, the archipelago can only be visited for research purposes. Number 5. Jeju Island Make your way over to South Korea to experience Jeju Island, which admittedly is home to plenty of natural wonders. While it's mostly known for Halasan, the country's highest mountain, which sits about 6,400 feet above sea level, it's also home to the world's longest lava tube. But what exactly is a lava tube? Well, it's a cave created by the cooling lava flows of Halasan, which is also a dormant volcano. Visitors can travel down to Mangjang Cave, which is 8 kilometers long, with just a 1 kilometer stretch open to the public. Despite being made of lava, the cave is dark, cold, and wet, and home to a million unseen creatures staring back at you. Despite the scary and claustrophobic atmosphere, Manjang Cave is a protected UNESCO geopark. Number 4. White Sands National Monument The White Sands National Monument in south-central New Mexico is comprised entirely of gypsum. But what is gypsum, and how does it get there? Well, first, there's a nearby ephemeral lake with an incredibly high mineral content. As the water there eventually evaporates over time, the minerals stay behind and form deposits of hydrous calcium sulfate, or gypsum. Finally, the winds carry over the deposits, creating the white sands. Today, the National Monument is the largest gypsum dune field in the world and is made up of mounds of chalk white as far as the eye can see, 275 square miles to be exact, and sits about 4,000 feet above sea level. 
The dunes feel like they're alive because the winds that bring the gypsum there also move the already existing dunes across the land, and in the more active areas will move up to 30 feet per year. And to make the region even more epic, many of the native species of animals and plants have developed specialized means of survival, as the area can have both brutal winters and blistering summers with a scarce water supply. Although it's proven to be a hostile living environment, the gorgeous White Sands National Monument is easily accessible to anyone with a car. Number 3. Madhu Island Madhu Island, also known as Vadhu Island in the Maldives, is amazing in its own right during the day, but it's at night when things really start to come alive, literally, because the waters of the island are home to millions of bioluminescent plankton, meaning they create their own natural light. And so if you visit Madhu's beaches at night, you'll be treated to a sea of vibrant bright blue unlike anything else in the world. It can look like an alien invasion or even like the stars are coming from the sea when this phenomenon occurs. And of course, as the tides ebb and flow onto the beach, plenty of these bright blue plankton are left behind in the sand. Beachgoers can turn around to see all the blue footprints they've left behind. And perhaps the best part is it's 100% safe to go swimming amongst the bright aquatic lights. Madhu Island is just 8 kilometers from the airport, and it's just a 15-minute boat ride away from the mainland, meaning anyone can experience this epic natural wonder. Number 2. Marble Cathedral Head over to Chile to see the Marble Cathedral, a series of marble caves in Cuevas de Marmol that are only accessible by boat. This epic natural wonder is the product of more than 6,000 years of erosion caused by waves beating against the rock day in and day out. Found on Lake General Carrera, the otherworldly, perfectly smooth rock beautifully reflects the seafoam green water, sapphire blues, and has more of a frosty gray finish. But when you visit the Marble Cathedral, it's hard to believe that they weren't man-made. But believe it, they're all natural. And they even change colors during the year to reflect the water levels and sunlight. In the spring, the walls take on a more turquoise hue, while the summer months, as the glaciers melt and the sea levels rise, they reflect a deeper shade of blue. The walls essentially provide a blank canvas for some amazing natural artwork, but to add to the mystery and mysticism of the caves, from the outside they are incredibly unassuming. It isn't until you venture inside that the real magic happens. Save up your money because one visit to the Marble Cathedral in Chile is obviously not enough. Number 1. Iguazu Falls The final entry on our list needs to be on everyone's bucket list. The natural epic wonder that is the Iguazu Falls is so large that it spans across Brazil and Argentina, drawing over 1 million visitors a year. If you can believe it, this fairy tale destination is made up of 275 waterfalls, and the number can change depending on the season, meaning this is another wonder that demands more than one visit. The tallest waterfall is called the Devil's Throat and has a drop of more than 80 meters into a permanent torrent of white mist. In total, the Iguazu Falls are about twice as tall and three times wider than Niagara Falls in North America. So how much water is flowing through this massive amount of falls then? Well, an average of 1,500 cubic meters flow through the system every second, and in the rainy seasons, it can reach up to 13,000 cubic meters per second. That's enough water to fill five Olympic swimming pools in the blink of an eye. The Iguazu Falls became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984 and were selected as one of the winners of the New Seven Wonders of Nature competition in 2011. The falls give new meaning to the words majestic and awe-inspiring, and will leave even the most jaded world travelers with their jaws on the floor. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.